Njugush, mm. if you were given the chance to run the country for a week, what are the things you change? Uh, nitakonda within a week. Na utaru ja konda. <laughs> Utakona pako disappear. Did you listen to the hot breakfast this morning? Here's what you missed. It's time to talk about uh, Finance Bill 2023, the bill that refuses to go away. You heard this past week and the committee met. Uh, they had a retreat and they're thinking about um, maybe even uh, putting some uh, things on hold. Uh, quite a number of things yeah. because of how people have uh, stood up in arms and yes. said no. Mm-hmm. Have to no wait. Way. Yes, sir. Like the housing levy might, might go down to 1.5 and may not implement it until January 2024. And it could be optional too. It could be optional employees and not employers. There's one of them. And the other one that's a bone of contention, the digital tax. Digital for all content producers, right? Yes, it's that's the next, you know, uh, frontier for young people to yeah. share our African stories mm-hmm. using minimum, uh, what do you call them, uh, tools like phones and all this. And they're making money from it. Yes, mm-hmm. to survive, take care of themselves, and also give other people an opportunity, you know, mm-hmm. by adding a friend or two. Right. Yes. So right now it's what, at 5%? Is that withholding tax or what is it? Yeah, let's call 5%. it. 5%. Yes. And they want to raise it to? 15%. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need to talk about that. Joining us in the studio, you know him more uh, better as Blessed Jugush, but his real name is Timothy Kimani. Guy Kimani. You know, if you told guys Timothy Kimani is <laughs> coming tomorrow, they're like, ah, what's that? Tuk Nani Talala. Suit and all, huh? Y- yeah, you look pretty dapper. Uh, that's only we can take him seriously. You can't talk about taxes if you're in a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and also joining us live in the studio is Wycliffe Bichanga. He's a tax practitioner with Cliff and Company CPAs. Content producers, that's what they pay right now, 5%. Yes. yes. And the government wants to raise that to 15 What's the thinking behind that? My understanding is that uh, the government is obviously trying to increase what they're able to collect. I think... The five percent has not been implemented well, in my opinion, and uh, what the government needed to do is look for ways to implement the five percent more, because when five percent is implemented, then the government has got visibility on how much money the content creator has earned. But I think what has happened over the years is that uh, somehow they've not looped in the content creators well. And they feel that they have not captured that income well. They are trying to increase it to 15% so that they lose less at the end of the day. Which, in my opinion, the best thing could have been look for ways how to bring in the 5% very well, capture everyone, then let these people do their own tax returns, and they will be able to capture all the income. Mm. At the end of the day. Let me ask you a question. You know, that 5% is usually withholding. Let's mm. say you have given me a work, you, it's, let's say 10,000 you remain with what? 500 bob to give to KRA. Yes. But now they consider that 1,000 to be income. So after they take the 5%, do they still want you as the creator to give 25 to make it 30% of income? Or how does that work? How with holy Asking tax on behalf works. of Jeff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Nick. So how withholding tax works is that, uh, yes, the money is deducted at source. With the example you've given, if 5% of 10,000 is deducted, then what you are required to do later is deduct your expenses. you actually allowed, in Jugush, I don't know if you knew this, you're allowed to deduct your expenses, the expenses that were incurred in generation of that income. Then you determine your tax liability. Once you establish your tax liability for, oh, uh, with that example, if your tax liability is 2,000, end of the day, you less the 500 that had already been paid then you pay the difference of 1500 So expenses meaning, let's say, fuel and whatever you... Uh, yes, incur. actually the income taxes are uh, expenses incurred ex- exclusively to generate that income. So mm-hmm. if Njigush uh, went to MC somewhere in Kiambu, mm-hmm. all the expenses incurred in getting to Kiambu and delivering the content, that is allowable. I feel we are rushing to look for money. And, and I get they must look for money. Our taki kukopa yet, but wana kopa. But that's not the point. They are looking for money. But however, I feel it's unfair because they are doing that without proper structures. Now, who, who is a content creator? What I do, I'm a comedian. I will MC, I'll go and appear, I'll go and have my own stand up shows, then I have my digital. So, who is this content creator? We have doctors on TikTok and on Facebook and on Instagram who are doing content. For their, um, for their, let's say, for example, clinics. So they'll say, today we are going to tackle um, cholesterol. 
So if you want to know more, come to my clinic. Is that content creation? Because now they don't make money directly from Instagram, but they are going to make money when clients come to their shops. Mm. So, so who is a content creator? We have miners who are making content. What does law say about such um, miners who are making content? What I feel is it's like a blanket. And, and I feel when, when the president says me and Butita earn more than him, I knew there was a problem. There was a na narrative that is sold that content creators make so much money. Mm. However... For me, I feel that's unfair because same content creators, and I saw Jalango say a lot of us are showing cars, and, but at the same time, he didn't mention a lot of us are posting pay bills for, for my mm. and Rama. So my point is, it's not true. It's true there is money, but it's not, it's not in that magnitude. When we have pastors going in chase cars, we never look at that. But when it's content creators, there's this animal that is called content creators. How do we start milking money? And you, you, you see, um, uh, end of day, and, and what I was fighting for is, yes, 15% is too much. Other professions are paying 5%. Mm. So, what is it to pesa content creators? That's one. Two, um, I feel um, it, it, it's going to be uh, very unfair for us because, like, for example, those people uh, who are apparently showing wealth and, and are well off, um, they have ways to pay tax. You cannot be all that in KRA or Yakutafuta. So what, like for example, what I've done, I have an incorporated company, I have a limited company, where everything from MCing to the online, to everything I put together and pay even my corporate tax, the 30%, I do my 16, whatever, I do everything. Now, with, the new, uh, with this new finance bill coming into place, does that mean now the 15%, aside from my company, I will need now to go back and say, that's a mini digital content creator, the Ohi Yangu 15%. Mm. It's just clarity because unfortunately these laws will pass, come for example, and I hope they're going to do it clause by clause because these laws will pass and then badai, the CC content creators who turn email. As a content creator, you have not submitted yet. On the side, I have Njugush Creators Limited. So maybe that's, uh, I wanted it to be clear mm. because we are doing a blanket. Also, there are some content, what is content creation? Some content create for fun. So by law, does that mean it's going to be illegal if they don't file returns at the end of the year? Uh, this is another yeah. question, maybe for Wiki. Yes. Yeah. Um, if I am an influencer and I should spend money to have lunch, but I have this hotel somewhere in town that says, come and influence for me on your digital uh, platforms and I'll give you lunch for you and your team. Mm -hmm. So that is money that I should have used, but I've not used. Is that taxable? In terms, in matters of taxation, what needs to happen is that we need to establish what is the value of that lunch. Then the, will, the, the challenge here will be, how do you then withhold? I'm not going to take two spoons out of the food. Exactly my but, point. But, but of course, we all know that it cannot be a payment uh, just like lunch. Mm. I'm giving you lunch and that uh. is it. In, uh, it will mostly be something valuable. And at that point, you're supposed to monetize that, to get the value. If this 15% goes through, they are then required to withhold the 15%. Mm -hmm. and, and, al and also there's a question of, I'm mm. um, on the same, I have merchandise. There's also, I think, the 3% for merchandise. I have merchandise I'm selling. Mm. I go to the Luduli Avenue, I get some 100 T-shirts. I come and sell in town directly to my audience. They're like, Ini and Jogush, and Jogush. Mm -hmm. Cash at hand. How are they going to tax that? Mm -hmm. Ideally, and, and, and even back to the, the digital content, the thing is that your taxes, you will continue doing your taxes the way you're doing. The difference is that now what is being withheld is higher, which you're going to offset against your taxes. So as you said, you have a company that it does all your income, mm -hmm. collects all the income, then declares, gets out the expenses, you get the taxable income. So you're still going to do that. The difference is that the money that you're, at the end of the day, paying is less because most of it has been withheld earlier. And, and, and the way I agree with you guys is that why discriminate against the digital creators? Mm -hmm. Tell them that we're going to withhold at 15%. 15%. When, when I do a service to you as a tax consultant, you're going to pay and withhold at 5%. 5%, 5%. Exactly. So that is, that, is, that is the point that uh, I think... Um, the other week when we sat with the Finance and Economic Planning Committee of Parliament, we also told them that this is discrimination. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of the canons of taxation, there has to be equity. Exactly. And, and, and I think that is the point. Mm -hmm. that and and, and that's why I wanted to demystify the, the, the notion, and, and this is a picture that I've been sold to, to maybe the president, and the, but that in content creation, this money you have not touched 
is like how we say in athletics there is money mm. however mm. the same athletics there, there are some people who are suffering i want a gig microphone mm. new tax ni kama pia wanakata tax ya microphone <laughs> so, so i i think um, uh, the, the idea that content creators make a lot of money yeah. because we are confusing issues again i'll go back to who is a content creator because i'm lucky i've been on telly before so i'm not uh, 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 or 100% digital so and that's why i have sort of a better life but there are some other people who are up and coming and if we start now raising the, the withholding tax what's going to happen is for the client because now that's the client who is going to pay you ask for if i want to be paid 10k i'll ask 10k exclusive so they'll add the 16% on top of the 15% on top of what is withholdable so that take home yangu it's 10000 so that's what what's going to happen is we are going to be very expensive the the little guys who are up and coming who are charging let's say for example 10k they're going to be so expensive client aseme to watch now because mm -hmm. it's so expensive what that means is the up and coming um platforms that were being created the, the, has it akuwa anymore again this is the same government that uh, every now and then wanaongezwa mshahara tuko na ofisi mpaka ya maombi i'm not saying ni mbaya but if we give up the 15 percent what are we getting and and i think this applies also to now beyond even digital content creators if we pay tax tax kulipa ni ni wajibu wa kila mtu and we must do that for the country to go on. but my problem is these are the same people you know we are acting like wamefika wameland <laughs> Kama Captain Otoyo, they just landed. <laughs> but these are the same people who promised us Kamarini Stadium. Mm -hmm. For six months, six months, Maka Miyaka Kumi Kaisha, Kamarini Stadium, Haijakuja. <laughs> Yet, they'll yeah. go and tax. Mutu wa kishinda huko inje, eh, niliko na, nafikira the other day about uh, Kipia Gon. Fe. Ameshinda huko. Marambili. Atakuja akatu, akatu, iku hapi ya 15, hini ya 1500, iku hapi ya 5000. <laughs> but you see, the government is not doing anything as far as sports and art is concerned. If they, be, if they are doing that, I'll be happy even to pay 30 percent withholding uh, are they trying to widen the tax base here because obviously there's a loophole they've seen in digital content creators they've seen there's a lot of money to be made but maybe this is not the way to do it i mean 15 percent is quite high that is the whole idea that uh expanded the bracket they're trying to bring in uh everyone in into the bracket i agree with you it's not the rate may be a problem but I think it makes sense, and I and, uh, also have a feeling that after this conversation, we know people are now aware, because uh, Njugusha, I'm sure, will also agree with me that there are people in their industry who are not aware that they're actually supposed to pay taxes. And uh, this conversation, if there's anything that is going to achieve, is then waking up everyone and say, you're now required to pay taxes, which has always been the case, actually, which has always been in the Income Tax Act. The problem is that uh, at times there are those laws that uh, people just uh, put a blind eye and life goes on. So at the end of the day, our expectation is that we're going to have more people into the bracket. We're going to have uh, more fairness. I think that is all the noise that needs to be done. Get fairness and everyone will be happy to pay their taxes. Let's say Nick is doing something on TikTok and then there's money coming from Google AdSense and all this. That is also targeting those uh, big media companies to pay taxes, of, you know, of some amount uh, before now they come looking for Kinanjugush. Or it's 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 combined. The whole idea is actually looking for Njugush. <laughs> most most oh, of those no, Njugush, oh, so most, 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 the YouTube I think on Alipa. Yes, exactly. Those guys will pay, but now what they want to do is uh, get those guys to tell them who they have paid. Mm -hmm. Because that is the whole trick. That uh, if this income is withheld, if Njugush's income is withheld at source, mm -hmm. then we know exactly how much Njugush has made. That's the whole idea. Because for the longest time, I think government has been in pains trying to understand how much money does Njugush and his brothers and his sisters make. The same people will go to cards and we get a car. We have not paid for it. You post? But I keep posting. Hi, today, this card. Hi. <laughs> to God has blessed you that you. It's in content creation. <laughs> right. So we need to get into details. And as he said, a good example is YouTube. YouTube cuts already a big percentage of what you earn because of IRS, because they say it's mm. from them. Mm. And now it comes to Kenya, we can introduce the 1%, I think it's 1.5%. 1.5, yeah, 1.5, that again they, they have to cut from your money, and now we are saying we need another 50. It, it, it doesn't make sense for people who depend on that. And also maybe last point about equity, whatever, and that that was my second point, whatever we do to Mamambogas, mutu wa mutura halipangi hizi vitu, kuna vitu halipangi, because kuna vienye, and I understand about how much money you make, kuna mahali you are exempted. 
about the same content creators there are people who are like that and that's why nilikuwa nasema there are some people who are just doing content for fun tunaweza wa treat kama mama mboka but you know there's, there's something else before you answer that cliff um you're speaking of mama mboga right and then do the guys mm. there's something called turnover tax the turnover tax yes. the whole uh, it was 50 million right. the higher band which has been brought down to 15 million yeah. and the lower band was 1 million which has gone down to half a million and they're also proposing to increase the rate from one percent to three percent which um see you in mama mboga and the question is, if you're going to pay taxes on 3% of your gross turnover, mm. it then means you need to make a gross profit margin, in fact, a net profit of about 10% for that to be equivalent to about 30% of the, 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 the total tax that you are paying. Mm. Which, again, is part of those things that uh, we've given submissions and said 3% doesn't make sense. The only thing is that turnover tax is uh, optional. You can be taxing the regular income tax regime. The problem is, and, and this is why turnover tax was introduced way back in 2012, that how do you easily tax those mamamboga who do not have the luxury of hiring a tax consultant like myself to do their taxes, to do their accounts. So they said the easiest way is, um, at the end of the day, Mamamboga knows how much they sold. They know that end of day, I did 10,000. End of week, I did X amount. Mm. End of month, end of year, I did X amount. They know their turnover, but they may not know their profit. They may not know how much expenses they incurred to generate that income, but they know their turnover. So make it easy, just give a rate and let them pay their taxes. And 1% made a lot of sense, because if you think about it, if I do, uh, a million bob, uh, 1% will be 10,000 shillings. But if you say 3%, we're talking of 30,000 shillings. So you can imagine for a million bob, at an over of a million bob, and you'll agree with me, a million bob is not a lot of money at a mamamboga. When you look at how much uh, they've got to uh, plow in, sell, but 3% assumes that they're actually making a net profit of 10%. Mm. which doesn't really make sense mm. um, and uh, so what we expect to see if the three percent works is that most people will now opt to go into the regular income tax band and get taxed there because the turnover again also has got other issues of VAT in fact initially when it was brought the idea was that if you're on turnover tax you even avoid paying VAT but again, subsequently, there were amendments to the law which, which, which then said, if you are above the 5 million threshold, mm. you are still required to register for VAT, even if you're on turnover tax. So I know most people have not been very keen with that turnover tax. And actually, I think it's a tax that uh, currently doesn't make sense. Uh, most people are avoiding it because they've realized that uh, it is more expensive. Mm. If they take it to 3%, for sure, we expect most people to move out of it. Maybe that is the intention. Maybe that is the oh, intention. Could you okay. <laughs> 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 and actually, and actually, another thing that uh, we need to talk about mm. on um, the content creators, there is the issue of VAT that you also start need to look at. Because nothing in the law exempts... Uh, exempts uh, people in your field in Jugush in charging VAT. So what I know Kiara will be keen to see is, what is the total turnover of this person? Is it beyond the five million threshold? Mm. Then, because this is now mostly what you do is uh, professional mm. uh, services. services. Mm. So then there will be a requirement to have you register for VAT. So if you go MC in a certain uh, event, mm. give an invoice to your client, mm. uh, one million shillings, there should be 16 percent there which the government will expect to see you remit at the end of the day mm -hmm. over and above the income tax, income tax which will be at the rate of 30 percent if you're operating as a company mm -hmm. but then of course you get a credit on the withhold is that 30 plus 16. no 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 that's not how it works jeff mm. the, these are two different taxes uh -huh. you do not you're not allowed to add them uh, the 30% is uh, what we call direct tax. 
it is direct from your income. Mm. But the 16% is indirect tax because as the professional in this matter, you are not the one paying it. It's the client paying it. Mm -hmm. Because you are charging them, if your fees was a million, Bob, you are char charging them 16% over and above. So it's not your tax. And that is why you're not allowed to add it to the 30%. It is the client now is paying it. If you are big in this country, uh -huh, like you will Jewish, evade for taxes. No, I'm a small fish. <laughs> you will evade taxes and nothing is going to happen to you. How many times in a ski are you? They know how they go about it. I don't want to go there. But that's uh -huh. what we are And this is my problem. Uh -huh. If it's paying taxes, everyone pays taxes. Like in Utapata, there's some big fish, Mahali. They know someone, someone knows them. Alafu wanafanyiwa mambo, vitabu zinasafishwa. But for a small, you unambiwa 15, unapeana yote. YouTube imechukua ya unapeana yote. My point is, if it's paying taxes, everyone pays taxes. Because what will happen, those people, the big people who will evade taxes, they afford to go to best hospitals. Sisi, ambao tunafinyiriwa, unatoa pesa ya tax, na badu ukikonjeka utatoa tena pesa ya dawa. Sababu ile hospital unaenda, hakuna dawa, madaktari mekataa kulipa, wanainua. Do you know it's a shame? Doctors wakona placard. When I was little, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Mm. Right now, wakona placards, wakisema hatujalipua. Mm. It's a shame. Mm. Yet we have people, they went to school, sijui for how many years. Yet we have someone, someone, and nantataja jina. Amepatiwa CAS. Echesa. Ndiyi zita wakopa. He's overseeing people who went to school. Wakasuma more than him. What are we doing? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> no, let's let's talk the truth. Let's talk the truth. And, and I think that, that that's why people are saying yeah. it, it might be a fair in terms of taxes what we pay. However, where it goes and what we have, like for example, I have we have roads. In the last regime, like for example, Cairo, Cairo to all the way to Oaklands, Barabari Metengenezo, not even one year economashimo. From Kagwe all the way to Gedongori, a beautiful road was done and it was launched. So what are we doing with the taxes? So if I'm going to pay taxes, I want to see where it goes. But I hauta ni ibia huku, nitoya taxes, ateniza kuendelesi ya inchi, then tena I'll have to fork some money, ni kienda hospitali. If today I take my kid, uskia mtoto wanjugusha na somea primary school ya government, utajuliza maswali. Why? It's because primary schools tulizi achilia, nobody thinks about them. Yet that tax should be able to do that. So why are we removing? It might be very fair, tax to Natoa, but it's very expensive at the same time because no one cares about what. Look at Embu Stadium. Half a million. Na ikumbe viti zilikuwa za kuretwa. Mi yata nikuwa za nini za. Half a billion. Half a billion, sorry. Ni yeah. nikuwa mbia mini small fish. <laughs> you get my point. So we, we, we have a problem. Yes, we'll pay taxes. And ni, haki, ni sisi wote tunafatu. Everyone. However, at the end of the day, what are we getting? Uko inje unafikia gwa mepigwa tax, but mtoto wana grow, anapati, kuna pesa, anapatiwa. Like for example, as in UK, unasikia mtoto anapatiwa pesa, ukienda hospitali, as long as when sitting, unangaliwa vizuri. I wouldn't mind even if they took 15%, I mean 50%, or even the 15% they, they are proposing. However, the other, the other day, Kimani Kuri, I heard him talk, and, and I hope they're going to do something about it, because at the end of the day, the people are supreme. At the end of the day, I heard Vile Dianza wakisema government agenda last my pite. They are forgetting that same people, the auditory government ilikuwa, with all the apparatus, your government ilikuwa meshika vizuri, with all the apparatus, they're the same people. Again, these people, this is the last point, these people are at risk of becoming a one-term uh, people, because the difference was only 200,000 votes. Mm. And from what we are hearing, saima andamana ikitishwa, kuna watu wengi tutatokea. Because we have the right reasons, because these people, I think there's something that happens to you when you get on, in power. Anyway, watch and see on guess, Anna. On get you, on get you. Fungua roo, fungua roo, Yeah, but you get my point. We, we don't have a problem with taxes. And, and, and I know a lot of people don't have a problem with taxes. However, um, we, we, we feel we must get, uh, and as content creators, we said, 15% is unfair. Let's, other professions, as uh, services are paying 5%. So if you're not going to do away, then, then do 5%. Mm -hmm. My question is, if we look for money everywhere and we don't get money, so what's next? Like baba yangu, ayazi kuja kwa nyumba aseme, he, kuna loan iko diu, sasa kila mtu watoe ili yako nayo. Mm -hmm. Then it reaches a point atuna, because as we've, we've looked into this, ha, I'd like to know how much money they're going to co collect, let's say for example, from content creators. How much money they're going to collect, let's say for example, from, walisematena ni watu wa serikali, 
for the house levy mm. if they take it to 1.5 so is that money going to be enough because after all this it passes and we are like okay sawa imepita to cut the taxes and they don't get enough money to do what they said they want to do to pay loans to do development to to, to what, what do we do from there we f- will feel cheated i don't know if i'm making sense mm. if if my father akuja aseme sasa eh kuna loan iko due kila mtu atoe kana ameweka kwa meza haijatosha so what do we move from there you are the father you know what you do kama utaenda ukope you know what you do that's why uli uli tisha ikiti but see to let no ma and i think that's that's uh, because and i have another question we are a capitalist uh, economy so why tell someone nataka tuchangie wale ambao hawana uh, for me i know that's inhumane but i feel that wouldn't work tunataka tutoe kila mtu kama umeajiriwa utoe ndio watoto wapate kazi whose responsibility is it kama kuna watu wamesoma you go to dubai unapata manager wa crown a big hotel ni mkenya tumesoma every day we have nurses going to canada in in different countries mm-hmm. the president <laughs> kitu anasema <laughs> ni vijana wapatiwe kazi ya mjengo so tumetoka kazi ya vijana ile ya kuslash tuingie kwa mjengo a- and i feel it's it's a disservice atituweke pamoja tufanye hiyo if we are to put together and do research and, and, and invest more in education like for example if, if we were to do more education for kids ju watoto wanasoma the other day i saw a kid from i think i don't know if it's mku akisoma akichoma makaratasi uh, certificate my certificate because and that's the situation on the ground so mm. we have given up then <laughs> sasa zile mepata platform kidogo ya online tena mnakuja kufinywa mnachapwa exactly when, when, when you hear the president saying I want to see those who will oppose this bill. Alafu rigiji anasema barabara hamtapata. Mkio oppose kitu. Again bottom up and 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 why if it's a good thing kwa nini usukumilie kwa kwa mdomo ya watu at it's a good thing. And again I'll go back. People are supreme. They, they'll go back to the same people. Watu wanasema iwezi but wao nasema it will be because now what we are going back it's the old days za kupiga magoti and that's why you know some opposition MP which is very wrong anaenda anapiga magoti anasema sasa you know we must work together with the president there is nothing that's going to happen we have the constitution if this allocation in a gavano a gavano state house if that were the case kuna mahali wange wa igawiwa pesa my point is we don't have to play politics because these politics at i want to see and also people outside are seeing and i think tutakuwa tukiona hiki to live how fulani ana vote alivo tv sawa tunapata and if there's something beautiful that happened the last election people have 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 known what they want so na, last time wali promisiwa huyu ni mtu wetu ni mtu wa chini anaelewa mambo ya mtu wa chini wakampatia kura wakanyima a whole president ambaye alikuwa na every ameshika tenta kila mahali yani unasikia mpaka minister wa interior akisema they, they are winning with 60% unheard of yet the same people went home Yeah. So these are the same people they are going to people are seeing what's happening na kitu mbaya ni for the government or for the people in power to think wa Kenya ni wajinga and i don't know wh- why that happens every time you are sent there you think people are stupid and you want to force things so if they are forcing them that means kuna kitu haiko haiko fit i agree with injugush people are watching we are watching all the uh, our mps i think uh, because everyone comes from a constituency everyone has got an mp it's time to watch how they vote very keenly because there's that part of i'm being loyal to the president because the president has said we are watching but there's also the point of being loyal to your bosses because i, I believe the voters are the bosses if the the people are against this if the people are saying this is not fair listen to them some proposals may have to wait uh, just amend get them let them wait let's have a conversation they can then be reintroduced later jugush mm. if you were given the chance to run the country for a week what are the things you change i'll do this instead of kwanza kutafuta we must look for money i'd put very punitive um, uh, fines we have cameras kwa nini matatu zina overlap um, uh, we have people who are caught with corruption kwa nini hatuwezi toa ukishika matatu useme nipatie 50000 100000 like th- there are other ways of raising money however um, i think uh, nitakonda within a week na utaru ja konda <laughs> utakona pako disappear <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> but, but um, I, I, i think we are having this discussion i think for the first time we are having discussions even from election tukiongea juu ya bangi we are having conversations people are talking and for the first time we are talking about tax 
Hii ni kitu hata shule siku wanashika sana. Mm. Unasikia backward taxation, forward taxation. Mm. Right now we are talking about tax. There are things as I said, um, financial literacy ni kitu watukua na. So we are talking about issues. People are talking about what they want. Tunataka dam, hatutaki dam. Kuna watu walipelekewa damu wakasema italeta baridi, wazewa takufa sisi ya tujazoya baridi. People, we are having discussion. And I think going forward, it's very important to have these discussions for people to get what they want.